Oh, is that enjoyable or messy? This is utterly charming. Here's all the staging. Jazz is my kryptonite. No, that didn't work. Okay, I already like the staging. I really liked some parts of that. It's naff. She's been watching Drag Race. Hey Eurovision fans, the 10 finalists for Supernova, that's Latvia's national final, have been selected. We're going to listen and react to all 10 of the live performances and see is there anything that can get Latvia out of their 6 non-qualification streak in Eurovision. So let's kiki. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tom. I'm an Irish Eurovision analyst and you can find all of this stuff on my Eurovision channel. So I'm really excited to go through Supernova this year. There's been so much hype for Latvia, which I'm really, really excited to see because as, as I said in the intro, Latvia haven't qualified in six years and I'm completely and utterly fixated in the idea of them finally making it through to the final. They've got a really good draw, then the second half of the second semi-final, definitely the best opportunity that they've had in a long time. I can't wait to see what people have been hyping about. I think there's three songs I've seen hype for, so I might spread them out a little bit throughout the video. We've got 10 songs in total. I didn't react to all the semi-finalists because they have this very bizarre system where the final is basically just a shorter version of the semi-final, which I don't understand at all. In any case, I'm going to roughly follow the running order that they had in the semi-finals because I'm assuming that it was producer created. I'm gonna be reacting to the live performances. Fingers crossed I will not have any copyright issues. If I do have to change it because of copyright, I will put the original up on my Patreon. So our first artist is Al Alex Silvers saying for the show, wanna know my secret bang? Well, oh, the stage looks really cool this year. Ooh, drama. Hmm. This is the first time I'm seeing any of these, by the way. Oh, bit of spy drama going on. Why not? Yeah, this is a real glow up for the Supernova stage. Isn't it? I always imagine it being, remember it being a lot smaller. That's an interesting choice, that big, bold pink. Oh. Oh, is that enjoyable or messy? Is it both? Yeah, that's both. <laughs> he looks familiar. Who does he look like? Um, it's given a goofy spy movie, but it's a pretty interesting performance. I, I do think we've seen this quite a lot this year. There's like very shades, Matrix styling in the dancers. Yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> I think this is just going into the only messy category now. He's also got that kind of blue, pink color palette that we've kind of, it, it's getting a bit old now, everyone's doing it. This stage is really impressive though. I do like the mix up of the green though into the chorus, that change it from the blue pink into the green. The song is, yeah, it's fun and messy. I already said it, there's nothing really else to add. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a mix-up. Oh, damn. He's got notes in his back pocket. Those are really good notes. I really don't like his hairstyling for some reason. I don't know why that bothers me so much. It looks like a bird's nest. I think there's definitely going to be people who like this. Because this is like quite hard EDM. Have we any other, had any songs like this so far this year? Not really. He's got those big notes in his back pocket. He's got plenty of them. Yeah, he's actually pulling it together for me at the end now. Like, don't send that. Absolutely do not send that. But... Yeah, actually, overall, I thought that was pretty entertaining. His voice is really, really good. I thought the station was just a bit, a collection of ideas that have already been done. So yeah, nothing really interesting in the staging or the color palettes or anything like that. Song, I think some people like that because it's kind of like that fun EDM sound. Yeah, I don't imagine that to be competitive. And I'm also imagining the fact that it was so early in the running order that the producers don't see it as a contender to win. Okay, next up we have Saint Levica saying TikTok, which is the name of one of my favorite Eurovision songs ever by Maria Yaramcho. I get this, but this is not her. This is a different person. This is a Saint Levica. Want to know my secret bang? Another song in English, I presume. Mmm. 
Okay, already I like this staging concept, this big white box. Because I'm intrigued, what is it? Oh, oh, I'm gonna find out, he's opening it. Okay, I already like this staging, it's something new. I really like this tableau of her sitting in this orange corner. Is someone behind the screen mimicking her, or is that her reflection? Mmm, she's very artistic, isn't she? Almost borderline on rapping. Yeah, she's she's got a real quality. She's very thoughtful. I feel like she's put a lot of thought into this. The song. I do actually like the guitar. It's a bit nostalgic. But as a chorus, this doesn't really have a bam in it. The visuals are winning of the, the song, basically. The visuals are great. The song is just there. Gosh, she's got so many ideas. I really, really like her ideas. That change in the outfit and the change in the color palette. Really, really, really fun. Yeah, I think she's someone to watch out for the future. I don't think this is her moment. The song isn't there. I think you could fake play the piano a little bit better than that. Is she gonna have another costume change? She's been watching Drag Race. That vote, that note is great, is good. It's not perfect. I really like her though. I genuinely think she's really interesting. Okay, that vote is, that note is nice now. Oh, there are people behind the screens, okay. Yeah, God, this staging is, is Eurovision ready. Absolutely. A little bit of tweaking, but... Really, really fun, interesting staging. Is she gonna go behind the wall and see who they are? Oh. Soft. Oh, God. She's got 15 times more ideas than everyone else. Oh, what a lovely ending. What was in the box? Oh, he's closing it. Oh, that was, re I really liked some parts of that. Okay, look, let me be real. The song just isn't there for me. Although I loved how she had some spoken parts. She had a bit where it almost sounded like she was rapping, but overall the kind of like behind melody wasn't there. There was just nothing hooky enough, nothing like really super memorable or striking. But wow, I really, really, really like her. She's so cool. I loved her outfits. I love her performance style, how like intense and artistic she is. I think this woman is going home and like writing poetry in the rain and stuff. She's just got that really cool love that it, there were so many cool ideas there. And the staging wise, that is better than some of the staging we see for acts in the Eurovision in semifinals and final. Really, really impressive. Definitely one to watch out for. I don't think she's going to win this year because that song is just not strong enough. But I really was captivated by those visuals. So definitely, what's her name? Saint Levica. One to watch out for in the future. And great to see that we might have some really cool talent for Latvia in future years. Third up is Papira. How do I, what do I do when there's a little line above the eye? Does it make it long or how does it change the eye? <laughs> I think S with the bowl is a shh. Papira Lad Machinas. And she's saying mind. Breaker. That's an interesting title. Oh, it's a boy. Oops. This is Papira. Wanna know my secret bang? Oh, another different sound. Do you know what? I'm really glad I'm watching the live performances because that last sound wouldn't have translated if I didn't see the live because the live elevated it. And this might be the same. Okay, very different sound. And they've all got these like face masks on for some reason. Her acting. Act acting skills, sorry. <laughs> it's not. Did you say I was faking or I wasn't faking? <laughs> that stage is incredible though. Look at those LEDs, the levels on them. This has got to be the best Supernova stage that I've ever seen. And they've done a great job of making it look bigger than I think it actually is. Um, look, what do I like? I actually like his jacket. It's kind of fun. And the song has a vibe, but it's 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 just too goofy. And her lip syncing is so 50% energy. Okay, there's humor here. There is humor here. 
I kind of like this. Who <laughs> wears her la 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 la? It's taking the kind of like relationship dispute and making it a little bit more fun instead of the cliche ways. So I can see what this qualified because there's a charm and the sound is kind of special. This wouldn't qualify that. Definitely not. I'm sorry, this lady actress just isn't very good. Uh, never mind. A little bit too repetitive now with the last. Um, just melodically, it's. I think we're getting the same thing four or five times. But some fun ideas there. There were definitely fun ideas. That was pretty easy to sit through. I wasn't like, oh god, when is this going to end? I like the outfits. I liked the main singer and some of his charisma and kind of interactions. I like that your words are la la la. That's kind of cute. Uh, so there were some good stuff here. But yeah, just overall, a little bit too goofy. I didn't feel like the female actress really. It didn't work. That didn't work for me. I, the, the idea was good, but I just think they didn't pick the right person or I wanted a bit more sass or a bit more hands or like just getting, give me a little bit more drama. Next up, we've got Ave and they're saying mine. To us, I'm actually really enjoying this final so far. Like none of these will qualify so far, but it's enjoyable to sift through. And, and it's nice to see that Supernova's had a glow up. This is Ave mine, one and on my secret bang. Oh, that's kind of like a weird starting. People are really bring their staging this year. There's a real noticeable improvement in staging concepts. Mm. This feels, this sounds very Latvian. Just from having listened to previous national finals. This type of like electronic, slightly industrial feel sounds very Latvian to me. Ooh. Mm. Okay, I'm intrigued coming into the pop drop now. Okay, styling wise going for a slight future. Little bit post-apocalyptic. Mm-hmm, okay. Um... Yeah. No. No, that didn't work. The verse I like, this kind of like, do, 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 this kind of rocky sounding electronic verse is interesting. But the chorus doesn't just match up to the standard. I feel like the staging concept looked like it was going to be interesting at the start and it doesn't look as interesting now. It's just they're like hanging out on a bench. Mm, okay, let's give the chorus another chance. Nah. No. Unfortunately not. It's okay, but it, again, it's, a lot of these are just okay. They're not good enough. And my big question with every single person is, can you qualify? No, this can't qualify. Okay, she's mixing it up. Is something gonna happen staging-wise, or...? Yeah, no, they're spinning around. I feel like my interest peaked at the start and it's just been slowly ebbing as we've been going through this. Okay, some fun choreo from the dancers there at the end. Nah, it, just as the song, it just wasn't there. I'm not saying that's my least favorite so far, but yeah, it's like... Obviously, there's a little bit in the order of watching songs. If I watched that first, I would have been like, wow, look how cool the stage is. I would have given it more positive feedback just because it would have been the first one. So, like, that's not worse than for the show, the first song that we saw. It's just that's the running order. And this is where I'm at after four songs. The fifth song is Ecto saying Outsider. Do I want to know my secret bang? No songs on Latvian yet, have there been? No, they've all been in English. And lyrically, they haven't been really wow. Mmm. Oh, very experimental. experimental. This is remind me a little bit of Albania. This guy, I've forgotten his name, sorry. Have you ever felt like a needle? No. Very unique and interesting. I feel like a what? I'm turning the subtitles on to try and hear what he's saying. He's a little bit hard to see. I've got the subtitles on now. I can understand him better. The sunglasses, the shades are super cool. Oh, sorry. It's kind of grungy. It's different. But I'm not picking at the melody that's... So its identity is really cool. That's really strong, but 
actual musically, sonically, I would want to listen to this. But performance wise, it's the type of thing that I would stop and look at. Again, another person who I feel like has got a talent and could come back in the future with something just a bit more aesthetically pleasing, a bit more strategic, because he's got a sound. Has he made this sound accessible to Eurovision with a good melody? Mm. I do like that new beat coming in. That feels... Mmm, wow, that's a beautiful image, that shining blue and um, white and red. Wow, that's really striking. I think some people are gonna love this. Like, this will be their ride and die. That bit of bit pop in the vocals there towards the end. Visually, that was really super, super cool. I love the color palette. I love that flashing red and white with just his face in the middle here. Really, really cool. And I love the outside, I love the font. There were lots of things happening. Really, really cool. The shades were great, the styling, the way the backing dancers were very simply dressed. I missed some of the lyrics. It was a little bit hard to hear. It is kind of hard to appreciate all the lyrics when you're doing ration because you're, you've got to talk. You can't just not talk because of copyright. You can't just have like me in silence for three minutes. So yeah, I do miss the lyrics sometimes. It feels like very similar to Saint, Saint Levica. Super talented, really, really interesting ideas. Just needs to get a sound that is as strong as the visuals. The sound was cool and it was different, but it just, you also got to think, are people actually going to enjoy this song? It's making a statement, it's got a purpose, but are they actually going to want to download it and listen to it? Is it got a hook? You've just got to think about that first time viewer in the Eurovision final or the semifinals, and there's just not a little bit of lack of consideration there or a lack of an ability to create a melody that people are going to want to hear. Really super talented though. I like that this supernova feels like it's showing off Latvian talent instead of just having Marcus Riva every single year. So that's cool because that's what supernova needs to do is they need to give their young talent a stage, let them make a couple of mistakes, say, we loved you, you're talented, come back next year, please, because with a better song. Next up, we have Don's saying hello, and I have heard about this. Now, I haven't heard it. I have actually avoided all spoilers. As you know, I'm very active on Twitter. I have Twitter muted. So when I'm scrolling through, if I ever get any clips about anyone, they don't automatically play. I'm very excited to finally hear this. I've wanted to listen to this for weeks and I haven't so that I could keep this first reaction authentic. So I'm very excited to finally listen to this. Don's Hollow, one and know my secret bang. Ooh. Very thoughtful opening tableau, panning over him. Mmm, okay, beautiful vocal. Okay, it's got a very striking beginning. Yeah, he's got a very qual great quality in his voice. Mmm. Okay, great tensity build up. Okay. Okay, there's power in the vocal now. I'm thinking this is very friendly for the jury. I'm not picking at the televote appeal yet. That worries me a little bit. Staging wise, it's a tiny bit plain. We've just got this road imagery and not really anything else. So. Not really winning in that aspect compared to others. It's a very pretty ballad. I'm, I'm waiting for that wow moment. Okay, that chorus coming in is nice. Okay, second time now. Mm, definitely epicness to it. Um, I'm not hearing the magic, I'm afraid. 
It sounds good, like I'm not saying it's bad at all, but... Okay, maybe this is the moment. Okay. That's, that's a magic, that's a cool moment. This is a nice moment now, his voice sounds really pretty. Uh, ooh, hmm. Yeah, this is a real tough one because I've heard so much hype about that. And you've got to think, well, if I hadn't heard any hype, yeah, my reaction would have been different. I don't know what I can do about that other than completely going off Twitter, which I'm not going to do because I get so much good information from Twitter. I went into that with so many people saying this is great. Look, I'm not saying this is bad at all. Do, uh, what I'm saying is expectations were really, really, really high. Did it meet those super high expectations? No, it didn't. Does that mean it's bad? Of course it doesn't. Still thought it was a good song. It sounded well constructed. It had an epicness to it. There were some great moments. I just was expecting like a type of hook in the chorus that was like, boom, done, qualified, job done. And I didn't get that like click feeling that I was kind of expecting. So, um, and this is specifically the reason that I go out of my way to avoid spoiler, spoilers and hype because it's so hard to discern what is like a genuine feeling and what is just expectations. You can see all those previous songs I had zero expectations. I literally had no idea what was coming when I turned on the screen. Whereas this, you know, I've seen a couple of people say, this is like Jose, this is like a ballad. People leave me comments on my YouTube channel telling me this song is like X. If there was a jury, absolutely. This would get so much jury love because his voice is fantastic and it's got a real seriousness intensity to it. The televote though, I don't know if I get this like very obvious televote appeal. You know, obviously Eurovision fans, we have so much patience for songs. We really are willing to give the three minutes of our attention and then we'll listen to them several times. And I just think the casual viewer has a very short attention span and they're like, entertain me now or I'm going to the toilet or I'm gonna get some tea. I don't know if that had enough of a grab in it. I'm gonna go for a second listen. Okay, I'm, I'm more on board with the song now. Definitely, I can see the appeal of that. I, I really don't like that staging at all. I, I think it's really, the staging drags it down. The song is good, I could definitely, on the second listen, I could hear more of the hooks, I can hear more why people are enjoying that. So yeah, I think that's, I still am a little bit like, oh, are people gonna get this televote wise and quickly enough? Staging wise, I don't like the staging at all. I don't like his styling. I think it looks so boring. His outfit is boring. It looks like he got dressed in the gap. It's just not good enough. The, I don't think the styling is good enough. I don't like the LEDs. I think they're kind of gray and dull. Why is this not got like total black staging with some light on? Why is there no light on the side of his face? There's no mystery in this. We see everything straight at the start. Completely lit room. There's no play with lights. There's no play with mystery. There's no play with intrigue. It's like here he is sitting on the box. You've seen everything now. You've seen that this this cloudy road with the lights on it. You've seen all his outfit. You've seen, I'm not asking any questions. What is this about? What's gonna happen? Anything. They've all been answers like, here's all the staging. So that staging for me is like straight into the bin, start again, be totally pitch black or something like that. Just him on the box with a little bit of light or something. Running around on the LEDs, creating a little bit of mystery. I, create a mood, there was no mood made. I think that was my problem is that this mood just looked so flat and kind of plain and just, I think that's why it took, it was hard for me to get into it because visually I wasn't intrigued. I didn't feel compelled. Like we've just seen so many performances which I felt had really, really strong visuals. That's the weakest performance for me visually. I didn't feel any entertainment from the visuals at all, like nothing. Him, styling, LEDs, what happened on the stage, camera cuts, light effects, sixth sixth place in all of those so far. Song-wise, oh yeah, that's that's the best song so far. That's the number one song. And I think now looking back, the fact that everything was sixth place in every, in all the staging aspects, that's probably why I was like, what am I missing? This feels off. And I think that was distracting me from the song a little bit. Maybe I'll have a clear analysis of what happened later on. Well, you come here because you want to see my first thoughts. There's my first thoughts. And you got some second thoughts as a bonus as well. Staging in the bin, start again. He sat in the box, he stood up, he walked to the front. The LEDs were clouds. I I'm being critical because I want Latvia to qualify. Okay, let's go to Katrina Gupalo, and she's saying the Cats song. Ugh, God, I'm so disappointed in that staging. Okay, this is Katrina Gupalo saying the Cats song, one in my secret bang. I already have several questions for this staging. Oh, she's singing from the perspective of a cat? Just a stray, though my mind 
Okay, this is very cute. And she's giving me 100% commitment. Nice production in the background there. I wonder if we're gonna get some meow noises later on. <laughs> I am absolutely gooped. <laughs> I was not expecting that pop drum at all. <laughs> okay, I kind of love this. And there are cat noises coming in now, and I like the dances coming in also. This is utterly charming. <gasps> that kitty cat dance is very viral. And that beat, stop it. Oh stop, this is so naughty. <gasps> yeah, so fun, so whimsical. This is pure whimsy. I actually love the dancer styling as well. Yeah, the LEDs are fun as well. <laughs> yeah, that was just, it was mad. Um, how would that do? I don't know. Some people are gonna look at that and they're gonna have the same reaction to me and go, this is like batshit crazy and I absolutely love it. I actually like the pop drop. I thought the pop drop was very enjoyable. I'm looking forward to watching back my own slack jawed reaction to it. Yeah, some people are gonna look at this and they're gonna say this is a joke act. I don't know. I, I would take someone singing from the perspective of a cat 500 times over those awful lyrics we had in Luxembourg, love from above, keep walking a million miles, my heart will break for you, all that just cliche crap that has no meaning whatsoever. I will take 500 cat songs over that because it's fun. She's thought about it. She's actually, I think a lot of lyrics, people genuinely, they look at lyrics as a nuisance. They'd be like, oh feck, we've done the melody, now we have to do some lyrics. Just get, a, just put love from above into AI and get it to write something for us. She hasn't, she's thought that and she saw her cat or she saw a cat and she's like, oh, I love it. I wonder what that cat is thinking. I'm gonna put that into a song. So there's thought in here, there's artistry. It's, it's very charming. Look, I'm not saying that this is definitely gonna qualify or that it's gonna be received in the most positive way because there's always people who watch Eurovision with a fair amount of cynicism. And I think those people are just cynical. Just let them be cynical in their miserable worlds. I thought that was very enjoyable. I already knew that it was called The Cat Song. I hadn't seen any spoilers, but that still made me gasp. Next up we have Funk and Biz and they're saying Na Chistu Vodu. It's not giving me a Latvian translation, it's giving me a Ukrainian translation which is to clean water. Oh, it's, it is in Ukrainian. Funk and Biz, wanna know my secret prank? Mmm, okay, another different vibe. I like that bowl behind him, that water bowl. That's on the LED. Yeah, it's jazzy. Jazzy is my crypt. Jazz is my kryptonite. Oh, I do actually like his shorts, though. Yeah, I already know this isn't qualified. Definitely not. Okay, actually, the chorus is stronger. Yeah, that chorus picked up a little bit. What was that? Is that a flute? It sounds related to a to a flute. Um, it kind of lost me a little bit. I zoned out there for a while. I started thinking about running orders. Easy listening, not good for your vision. Chorus is stronger than the verses, but it's not strong enough. They might be bringing the harpsichord. That is my weakness. Yes, it is a nice climax. Okay, this part of the song I like. So I didn't like the first two thirds. That final third should have been the first third and then two more even ramping up even further. And then that would have been like, probably could have been one of my favorite songs in the whole national final. 
I, it just took too long to build and the verses were too draggy and I, I zoned out for like 30 seconds. This tool is are saying cur question mark. Hopefully that doesn't mean love like Ireland asked in, God, what year is that? That was ages ago. Was it 2005? It was ages ago. <laughs> Donna and Joe McCall. It means where? They're asking where? Thank God they're not asking about love. I think I saw people saying online that they these people are very young. One and number secret bang. Yeah, they do look quite young. Very interesting hair style. Very stripped back. Love to see the Latvian language. Is this our first Latvian song? It is. That's a little bit sad that there's not that much Latvian. Mmm, that beat was very necessary. Ooh, okay. There's a real talent here. In both of them. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, gooped. Latvia are really good at kind of being a little alternative. Switcheroo. I I was not expecting that switcheroo. Oh, I really like that staging idea. I thought it was her and he was just gonna accompany. I was not ex that is really and he's got a lovely bassy vocal. They're oh they're surprising me. This has got a bit of magic to it. They're maintaining my interest as well, even though it's kind of slow and jazzy. And now I feel the interaction between them. Mmm. Very, very interesting. Ah. This is feels like a real wild card. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Mmm. Very entertaining package. Like, this is got levels, stuff happens. Mmm. They're strong vocally, they really know how to perform. Yeah. Mm. This is competitive, a national final. I think people would like that. I think people really enjoy watching that performance. It's really unexpected, it takes you all over the place, you don't know what you're watching. That mix up where they did the switcheroo, and then the second mix up when they both stood up and we had that red change of color and change of mood and then then coming to the front oh man so this really is the contrast for me between don's staging where effing nothing happened and their staging which was electric that was electric staging really and to have electric staging for such a like slow jazzy song well what started off as a slow jazzy song that was i really enjoyed that uh let's go to edvard's Straz deans oh my god what the hell is going on with that n there's something under the N. It's like, <laughs> it's like a troll living under the bridge. Strad, Strad D, oh, I'm not even gonna try and do that. Let's just call him Edvards. Edvards, wanna know my secret bang? So presumably rock and roll, because it's in the title. Where's all this talent in Latvia just like appeared out of nowhere? Again, it's got a really unique feel. Yeah. Anyone looking for rock and roll? There you go, you got it. And he's playful in his delivery as well. The dancers are doing great work. They've got great energy. And they're obviously singing as well. They're giving a real vibe to the song and an energy. I wish LEDs would change a bit. We're getting this spinning disc and nothing else. Yeah, LEDs are letting them down. Oh, I love that guitar, she's kind of badass. These dancers are earning their money. The rent is due and they're like, I'm earning the rent and double. Uh, he's lost a bit of steam for me now. 
And this is where an LED can come in. Change the lighting color, change the LED, do something to reset the mood. Okay, they did change the LED, but it's they just added a spiral in. It was reminding me of Iceland last year. That that song that was called it was either called Yes or No. Or okay. And it had a cool sound, this rock and roll sound, but it was too flat. It's really going for that 60s feel in an effective way, but... Like, lyrically, it sounds like a 60s song as well, which is kind of cool. Yeah, again, things in that I like, but just overall, the positives and then their negatives, and they're kind of cancelling each other out and giving me something in the middle. Okay, what are my takeaways from this national vault? First of all, the stage looks awesome. Real glow up, it looks like Supernova is making more of an effort this year. Second thing that jumps out to me is a lot of young talent. Really, that's that's my main headline from this national final is I'm looking at people like St. Levica. I'm like, wow, this is someone for the future. I'm looking at Ecto. If he can just hone his craft and just get better songwriting, melody construction, I think. That guy, Edvards, and then Vestules. Wow, damn, that is a ton of talent in two people. Really, really, really. So that is my thing is that I'm excited for Latvia in the future if this is what they've got. I feel like maybe they sat down and said, okay, look, we need to stop inviting Marcus Riva here. We need to like get some new people in because it feels, no no hate to Marcus. I know he really wants to go and represent Latvia, but it feels kind of stale when you have the same person in the national final every single year. In case you don't know, Marcus Riva has been in the national final like too many times. <laughs> it's not gonna happen unless he has a really special song. I like that this feels more like Let's develop our music scene. Let's go to a couple of bars and performance venues and headhunt who's the best person and maybe invite them to write the song. I'm not saying that's what happened. That's what it feels like has happened. Who are the standouts for me? I do agree that Don's Hollow is on paper the best song. I don't like that staging. That is not the worst staging of those 10, but I probably put it like eighth or ninth in terms of staging. I thought Edvard's staging, was Edvard's staging worse? His LEDs, Edvard's LEDs were worse, but his dancers were better. Don's staging had no story to it. It had no lighting story, it had no styling story, it had no LED story, it had no movement story, it had no camera cut story. There was literally no story in any of these potential avenues. And the thing is, if you're going with a ballad to your vision, you, you probably have to accommodate for the televote. We've only had a televote semi-finals one year, but, you know, generally that's how televoters work. And they're gonna get bored if they see someone sitting on a box with bland lighting and some clouds styled like he just came from a gap. So they just have to elevate, they've got to change that. So, you know, if Don's does get through, he's got tons of times to fix that. He's great, his voice is lovely. The song on its second listen, I could hear the hooks, I can see. And I'm pretty much 99% sure that of all the songs in this national final, that'll be the one that I'll play the most. It'll be my most played one. It sounds like the most well-written pop song, well-written standard pop song. Lyrically, I wasn't really hearing any magic. Okay, who else stood out to me? Again, like I said, St. Levica um, and Edward. St. Levica stood out, amazing visual ideas, so interesting. Get her to be the visual consultant for Don's and start again. Okay, uh, I thought Katrina was absolutely and utterly whimsical and charming. So funny, really made me laugh. I think if it went to Eurovision, people wouldn't take it seriously and they kind of laugh a little bit at this in kind of the same way as Cake to Bake. I think this is better than Cake to Bake. I think it's more thoughtful. I think it's funnier. I thought Cake to Bake was kind of like a joke that didn't really get any laughs. I didn't laugh at Cake to Bake. I, I laughed at the cut song. I thought it was actually funny. Uh, so the joke landed. I don't think Cake to Bake landed. It came 13th out of 16th in the televote. It was only three points away from being 10th in the televote and it was second in the running order. Okay, so Cake to Bake would have qualified with the televote if it had, didn't have such crappy running order. It feels like a risk. It feels like a risk and I would I would understand if Latvia would rather send Don's because it is a little bit more of a steady, stable, known entity, whereas the Cat Song isn't. But if Latvia won a wall card, God, I'm really thinking Festulis Kur. That's really, really magic. I'm wondering actually now, because Don's staging isn't there and Festulis staging, that's ready to go. Why that really blew my socks off. There was a story, this, their styling was cool. His hair was very unusual. They just had a real intensity and passion. And I think someone said they're like 18 years old. Wow. That switcheroo gooped me. <laughs> it was so good, you saw live, it was recorded, how gooped I was. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking at this point in time, maybe Vestulis goes, maybe 
Don's, I wonder is this a criticism about Don staging just a me thing or are there people saying the same thing or is it just me? Really do let me know in the comments because I'm very curious if anyone else got that. Maybe my expectations were too. I, I've had time to reflect now, it's been 20, 30 minutes. I still think that staging sucked. Okay, I will do my, I will give you my top 10 list here. I don't know what it says because I do it after I've edited. I imagine the top three is gonna be Don's Vistulis and Katrina, but I don't know what order that they'll be in. Songs that I think are in contention to win, and I think they're the three best overall packages, all considered. Overall, I think that I'm excited for Latvia. Again, so much talent, that's a good sign for the future. What did you think about Supernova, the Latvia initial font? Let me know in the comment section down below. Extremely curious to know what you think about those three, because they are so divisive. All three of them, I think, are super divisive. Thank you so much to Mitch D for supporting me on PayPal. No new donations on Buy Me Coffee, but you can support the channel there as well. I am a full-time content creator, so if you want to support the channel, I'll leave links to you in the description down below. And of course, thank you to my patrons all over the world for patronizing the channel. On my Patreon, you can see the original audio when my videos get audio copyrighted, previews of upcoming videos. You can join on my, my Eurovision Scoreboard group, and I do earlier releases of some videos as well, so check that out. But of course, thank you so much just for watching and maybe leaving a like and maybe sharing that video. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another Eurovision analysis video very soon. Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah.